Yeah. Emma, the front, the front. The front. I, I just want to Emma, one more in the front, the front. Wait, stay back. Emma, 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 Ladies, turn it all the way at the end, please. Here we go. All the way at the end. Emma, all the way at the end. Can I get both of you this way? Both of you right here. There it is. Can you turn it all the way to the right? The very end, the very end down here, please. Copy right here. Mike. And then can I get everyone, both of you looking right here, please? Okay. Big smile. Thank you. And Natasha, can we get the way from the front or the front? Yeah. Can we hold one more in the front, like that? Yeah, chin down, chin down. Right here.
Captain Jack Mancini, Air Force Arizona. Um, I am a father of two little girls who um, are coming of age, and it's frightened me to join Space Camp. I've driven, it's driven me away. But uh, no, the movie's amazing. It's um, a completely female driven film. Liz Garcia's written an unbelievable script, and I'm just honored and humbled to be a part of it. It is uh, Legally Blonde Goes to Space. So. That's how we. That's how we build it. I think it's one of the funnier, funniest movies I've been a part of, and uh, it's a. It's a really good time. Yeah. Female independence. It's about um, doing your own thing, doing it your way. Don't be afraid what the system or the establishment is telling you. If you believe in it and you think you can do it and you want to do it, there's no time. There's no time frame to do it. You can go get it anytime you want it. And I say that for everybody out there. If you think you want to do it and you really love it, go get it. Oh, from top to bottom. Like I said before, this has been one of the most unbelievably collaborative sets I've ever been on. Like Liz directing and writing this project, she trusted her words, we trusted her words, we trusted her, and she let us off the leash. So it was like, she cast it correctly, we had a conversation, she goes, go do your thing. And we were able to do whatever we wanted. And it was heir apparent. I mean, you see, you're going to see the film later, and in, when it comes out July 4th on Amazon, um, it is... It is, it is next level. It's just fun. You can tell how much fun we did and how much love we put into it. it was, it's amazing. Three essentials for the holiday. Barbecue. I just bought a grill, so a Traeger. So I don't, shameless plug for Traeger. A smoker. And uh, I'm going to hang out with my daughter at a pool. And we're going to learn how to swim this summer. So those are the most important things to me. Well, I, I play the, sort of the, uh, I guess, the head of the, uh, the astronaut program. Um, I play, uh, I guess we uh, it's uh, so, sort of typecast now. I play a befuddled old white guy, um, and this seems to be seems to be my niche now. Um, so uh, yeah, and I'm and I uh, I guess I'm the guy that hires uh, Emma's character or or agrees to hire her. So um, so so I, in that way, I guess the whole film really pivots on me. Well, I think it's about it's about. Um, Maintaining a, a faith in yourself and, a, and and keeping your dream alive from youth, and uh, and not uh, not not convincing yourself that 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 at any point those dreams are dead or unattainable or that that it's too late to uh, to uh, pers to pursue a goal. So I think that's it. It's about it's about just believing in yourself and uh, and and achieving what you think you might not be able to. An astronaut. I wanted to grow up to be Dick Van Dyke uh, at, uh, at one point. Um, I want definitely astronaut was one of those things, and uh, I did get. To, I have played an astronaut before. I played Al Bean, the fourth man on the moon, in a HBO series for Tom Hanks. Uh, so I, yeah, I, I was huge into Apollo and all the, the whole space program when I was a kid. Uh, I love this movie so much. It, it, I have to say, one of my favorite movies of all time is Private Benjamin. And I happened to just watch Private Benjamin again the week before I got the script for this movie. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, this is such a great classic, feel-good, funny movie. It would be so fun to do something like this. And then a week later, I get the script for Space Cadet. It's very similar in, in, I think it's like a nice homage. So Emma Roberts' character, Rex, is sort of this like Florida party girl who always grew up being obsessed with going to space, wanting to be an astronaut. Not. She sort of lo loses her way uh, in the Florida party scene and decides to apply for the ASCAN program uh, to be an astronaut. And she, with the help of her best friend, uh, who's played by Poppy, she, um, she inadvertently gets into the program under this big lie and then has to keep up the charade. I think I, so I grew up in Louisville, Kentucky, and I don't think I realized that being an actor was a, an actual logical career move, because I didn't know many people in Louisville, Kentucky that did that, but I do think I secretly always wanted to be in comedy. I used to be obsessed with Carol Burnett and Saturday Night Live, especially those seasons when women were really dominating, Molly Shannon and Sherry O'Terry. So I, I, I always wanted to be an actor, and now I'm living my dream, which is kind of the premise of this movie. Uh, Space Cadet is a movie about a, a millennial woman, me, named Tiffany Rex Simpson, and she feels like she has not lived up to her potential, so she decides to try to get into the NASA space training program, and, you know, what can go wrong? <laughs> I mean, I love this movie, Space Cadet, because it really, there's so much friendship and heart and love 
and this message of like following your dream and that and that it's never too late to try to achieve what maybe seemed unachievable. I wanted to go to space camp and I never got to go, so that was a real bummer. I know, my best friend still brags about how she went to space camp. I'm like, we get it. And so I had to one-up her by doing this movie. <laughs> Hi, Kara. <laughs> this, this is the most lively premiere I've been to in years. <laughs> Uh, so I play Miriam Osprey. She is one of the ASCANs, the astronaut training candidates. Um, it's just a really fun film. I'm really excited for everyone to see it. Think of it as like Legally Blonde in space. It's just going to be a really good time. Yeah. Um, well, one of the things I thought was really great when I first read the script is it's a lot uh, of really strong women characters. Uh, women uh, in sciences, women going to space. Um, and it, it's just it was a really, really fun like representation, I think. Um, um, I honestly feel really, really blessed to have worked with this cast and crew. It's, this is like one of my first like big features, um, and a lot of the other ASCANs and I got really close during filming. Uh, we have a group chat that we've had since day one. We've really come together, like support each other in other projects and things yeah. since. We have dinners, uh, so I feel really blessed that some of my castmates have become some of my really good close friends. Um, so I feel really, really lucky. So we had a great time collaborating, so I hope that how much fun we had making this comes across when you guys see the film. I think, I don't know, it's a very nostalgic movie. I think it's like a summer movie. It's so much nostalgia. It's so much like familiarity to me. It felt like, um, it felt like stepping back into like my childhood, my 2000s. So yeah, it was a fun experience. It really did. I mean, it's an ensemble piece, you know? And so, and we still have um, a little group chat that we have the ass cans, which is a little movie joke for anyone that is watching. And yeah, I think we're still really tight. We're going to each other's shows. A lot of us are theater performers. We're all from, a lot of us are from New York. So the support is really vibrant. My July 4th essentials are a good book and a blanket and my cat. If you, did you see the Jeanette McCurdy like firework thing? This is amazing. You have to go online and look. She's like, yay, like my book sales are amazing. And she pops like a firework thing and it makes a loud noise and she's like yay this is gonna be so fun pop and she goes ah! like so scared and that's how I feel about the fireworks too loud there's no need there's no need for anything to be that loud ever Shh. my goal everyone should know Shh. well space cadet is about a very unlikely astronaut it's about a woman named Rex Simpson who is a Florida party girl bartender who rediscovers and pursues her childhood dream of becoming an astronaut and because her best friend tells some white lies she actually makes it into the NASA astronaut training program and then has to try to hold her own with the big boys. The real message of the film is that it is never too late to pursue your dreams and that if you have a gift, it doesn't matter if everyone is telling you you're crazy to try to honor it and pursue it, you should do it anyway. I wanted to be a writer. I thought, I didn't think it would be glamorous. I didn't think I'd be a director, but I always wanted to be a writer and I'm living my childhood dream. Oh goodness, lots of ice, iced coffee, indoors, <laughs> and like a summer dress. It's about, it's kind of like our generation's Legally Blonde, except with NASA, and instead of with prep school girls, it's Florida girls, who are like, you know, 10 bar, who wrestle gators, who, my character is perpetually pregnant, which I'm not saying is a Florida stereotype, I'm just saying that I, Poppy, was pregnant during the shoot, and so my character therefore was pregnant the entire movie. Um, but yeah, it's like sort of like the person you never would expect achieving these wild dreams. Um, and I think we just haven't had a movie like that in a minute. So I really think it's gonna be like the movie of the summer, if you will. I think like, okay, in like a really like true 90s way, it's very like girl power, but in a way where like, I have a 15 year old sister and I think just seeing what she thinks is possible for herself and how big her imagination is for what her future can be. I just like didn't have that, you know? Like we don't realize I think what these kinds of commentaries do to our subconscious 
to our like visions for herself for the future. So this idea that like yeah, this like Florida girl who like you know has like never left Cocoa Beach gets to go to NASA and like save the day is so amazing that it's like yeah, of course you can do anything. And I don't know, I just like it's like dark times. I feel like a lot of our media is reflecting that too, which like appropriately so. But also like I think we deserve a little laugh. Okay, so I am the kid of immigrants. So as an overachiever, I was like, all right, there's seven days out of the week. Monday, teacher. Tuesday, doctor. Wednesday, lawyer. Thursday, pop star. Friday, vet. Saturday, astronaut. Sunday, I can rest, I guess, if I've earned it. Uh, so I play a character called Logan O'Leary, who works at NASA. Um, kind of a Clark Kent type of guy, you know, like he's kind of, you know, a bit geeky, but it's very professional. But really, I think Logan is someone who, once upon a time, used to be quite a fun guy, but now he lives by his job, and his job has taken over his life. Basically, the movie is about a girl who decides to follow her dreams to try and become an astronaut, you know, and that's what this is all about, you know, that it's, it's a feel-good movie that you should, everyone should follow their dreams. Oh, massively, yeah, huge collaboration. Like, from my first meeting with Liz, I remember thinking like how much of a team effort this was going to be, you know, and uh, that's the way she runs things on set, you know, it's a very collaborative process and I just really enjoyed the whole thing, it was great. Uh, I play Hector Caneco, who's just a fellow um, a space cadet in the world of space camp that this movie takes place, and it's a great fun movie about uh, Rex, who is this party girl in Florida who's always loved space since she was little, but you know, life got in the way, and so she's sort of reclaiming her dreams of going to space and um, gets into space camp um, uh, unethically, but you know, at the end of the day, she's there. When I was younger, I wanted to be a chef, and then I learned that um, I don't like cooking. Because what, what, where that stemmed from was my mom would watch Food Network, and I, I just wanted a nice kitchen is really what I wanted. Um, so that's still on the docket of dreams, but cooking, absolutely not. <laughs> just too much work. I'm also not quite a foodie, so that seems to be a requirement, yeah. It was so much fun. We got to spend three weeks down in Alabama, which um, is a beautiful state. I've never been. Um, but we got to spend time at the Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. And um, it was great because it's an actual spa place where space camp happens. And um, it, was, it was so much fun to spend three weeks down there. And this movie um, was with a great crew and a great cast. It rekindled my love for a, a good fitted jumpsuit. Um, and I think that's what I really took away from this whole experience. I'm going to start wearing jumpsuits again.